Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Hallelujah. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17. It says, But upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. It says, And there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. We've been examining the mystery of deliverance, helping the body of Christ to step into supernatural levels and supernatural dimensions of victory in Christ. It is my personal conviction as a man of God that it is not enough to read your Bible and see the things that the Bible declares should be our inheritance, but that we must press through faith and understanding to a point and a realm in the spirit. Are we together? Where we will have access and walk in the experience of these realities. And tonight we must force this thing to work in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Three levels of deliverance. Let's get straight to the business of tonight. Um, the teachings are available. Part 1, 2 and 3. So for time's sake I may not go back doing any recap. Please bear with me. We have a lot to do tonight. And um, we're working to gain time. There are three levels of deliverance that I want to teach you. And in this teaching you're about to hear now is the reason why probably many believers do not gain complete deliverance. Most of the denominations that we have um, in one way or the other have engaged something related to deliverance. But the challenge usually is that we pick one of the three and I've shared with you again and again, as you know, I'm very sympathetic to the body. I'm sent to the body. So every time I talk about the body of Christ, it is not in any way from a standpoint of sarcasm. Are we together? Um, so as I teach you this, I pray that God will open your heart. And if you're a man of God, I'd like you to examine these things very deeply and find out where you probably may be missing it in communicating the power of God to deliver to your congregation. Number one, the first level of deliverance is the casting out of the spirit influences in your life and at the back of your challenges. The first level of deliverance has to do with casting out the spirit influences in your life and if not in your life at the back of your challenges behind every challenge is a spirit that sponsors its continuity are we together the first level listen very carefully the first level of deliverance has to do with casting out the spirit influences there are always spirit influences either in our lives or at the back of the situations and circumstances 
that challenge God in our life. So the first level of deliverance has to do with casting out the spirit influences. I thought you would want to put maybe two here. influences in our lives and at the back of our challenges. Carefully. Please, I want you to find a way of convincing yourself tonight. At the back of almost every challenge and every destiny head in one position, every family, every business, every career, every home is a spirit entity. That is sent and assigned to ensure that that process remains that way. Are we together now? We are not in ignorance as to the fact that our world is also full of spirits. Not just men. Spirits. And that these spirits are also on assignment. Just like angels. And that at the back of people's lives. And then at the back of mysteriously... Um, disturbing situations are spirits sent. Deliverance is not complete when the spirit entity that are behind the situations in people's lives are left there. This is where I think that a lot of people, especially people who value um, education and intellectualism and science to an exaggerated dimension, this is where we miss it. There are people today who will never agree that there are spirit entities manipulating the lives of people. And I find that disturbing because Jesus did not leave us in the dark. As to the fact that, in fact, I'll be showing you shortly that when he proclaimed the messianic prophecy that was upon him. Are we together now? He went out and began to heal and the first set of those he addressed were those who had devils. There were spirits behind them. He met a woman who had been bound for 18 years. And the Bible says, he said, woman, thou art loosed. Before he laid hands to heal her, there was a spirit behind her situation. These are the three doorways that granted it access. Number one, covenants. Number two, ignorance. Number three, disobedience. It is possible that a covenant is broken and the spirit still uses another channel to route your life. You must be aware of all the channels available. Are we together? So number one, the first level of deliverance is casting out the spirit influence in your life and at the back of your challenges. I have ministered deliverance to people again and again and again and I see this all the time. I see the shock like many of you have experienced. Sometimes on the faces of the people. Because they would never otherwise believe that there was a spirit influence. A sudden, in a very strange way, in less than one week, your life just... You know, although there's a lot of argument among men of God, whether or not there is something called deliverance ministry. Um, um, I, I, I'm not here to create argument, but I believe with all my heart, I believe in the full gospel, and the full gospel captures a dimension of God that is able to deliver. And we know that it is God's system to allocate graces to men. So I believe that it is possible, I believe from the authority of scripture, that there is something called a deliverance ministry. It will be foolish to believe in the healing ministry. It will be foolish to believe in the evangelical ministry. It will be foolish to believe in the ministry of signs and wonders. We believe that there are people called to minister prosperity, to minister leadership. Why will we reject that there are people specially anointed to minister deliverance? I think it's just because of our resentment. Deliverance is a very messy ministry. It's not a ministry that comes with a lot of organization. Usually, it is presumed that if you are dull and unenlightened, uneducated, and you don't know what to do with your life, you are most likely called into the deliverance ministry. And, and it's not so. Usually, people who are posh, nice, excellent, administrative, intelligent, calculated, 
uh, will usually not receive that dimension of the call. And, and, and I think it's the way it has been done in Nigeria and Africa because we have demons shouting, talking, you know, most when you see ministers that minister deliverance, usually they are unkept, shabby, unintelligent. They don't process their understanding. The churches are, are not well cultured. And so over time, we have adopted an understanding that the messier you are, the more unenlightened you are, you are most likely called into that ministry. There's, there's no such thing as that. But I believe there, there should be specific people anointed and sent. If we don't believe in deliverance ministry, then there shouldn't be a healing ministry. No. Are we together? The second level of deliverance, and like I said, if you believe you are called into the deliverance ministry, this may probably be an area you may want to adjust. It's called deliverance, the deliverance of transformation through the word of God. This is the second level of deliverance. Deliverance of or through transformation. Many people do not know that this is a dimension of deliverance as valid as casting out a spirit. Deliverance that comes to a man through engaging that man's mind and understanding in a process that the Bible identifies as transformation. Herein lies the tragedy behind endless deliverances where a spirit is casted out, it goes, returns, casted out, goes, returns, and then sometimes we build a theology. Now, this is the part of deliverance I do not believe, that a believer should become a victim of a spirit forever and should have an endless cycle of continual deliverance for life. The Bible does not show that. Now, we saw that Jesus delivered men, and they were delivered and delivered completely. The apostle Paul was delivered, are we together? The woman with the alabaster box, the one who Jesus casted out seven devils. But you see, the thing about Jesus' ministry, and, and I'm going to show you now, I'm going to show you something very powerful. The Bible says, the man in Gadara. Let, let's go to that, let's go to that scripture, let's look for it. Where is that scripture? Help me. Mark chapter 5, I think I'm right. Give us Mark chapter 5. Say deliverance through transformation. Say it again. Shout it. Deliverance through transformation. Now, this is a very interesting story. The Bible tells us that in the country of the gatherings, Jesus himself, I want to see, um, I want us to read from verse 12 to verse 15 there's something i want to i want to show you there deliverance through transformation now watch this and the devils besought him saying send us into the swine that we may enter into them so spirits now at the back of a man's madness are we together and then and forthwith jesus gave them leave and the unclean spirits went out and entered into swine and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea and they were about 2,000 can you imagine that and were choked in the sea 14 and they that fed the swine follow me now and told it in the city fled sorry and told it in the city and in the country and they went out to see what that was done 15 sitting and clothed and in his right mind jesus didn't just leave him he knew that something needed to be done to his mind too it was not just his spirit that needed to be right so when jesus casted that devil he didn't wave him and say go he said come and join this teaching ministry that will need to transform your mind and the bible says they came and met him sitting in his right mind you can be delivered with a wrong mind are you listening to me now? It matters that we must engage this dimension of deliverance. The dimension of reorienting our spiritual understanding. This one comes through the ministry 
the teaching ministry of the word is how people experience this dimension of deliverance and i can tell you sincerely speaking this dimension of deliverance is very scarce in the church to teach the word does not mean to declare and to preach we generally say you are a preacher a teacher of a word is an explainer one who brings the saints into a comprehension of the character the person and the working knowledge of the word you have no reason to have weekly gatherings as a man of god if you are not teaching the word you can be an evangelist and come into a land three days win the souls apologize for the sound and i think there's noise somewhere i'm sure they're working on it are we together now you can come in as an evangelist you can come in as a missionary and even stay three months five months within a city but if you ever trust god for a church a ministry a platform where you meet with people consistently then it doesn't matter what spiritual office you operate you must trust god for grace to be a teacher of the word otherwise the saints will never experience this dimension of deliverance say deliverance through transformation this entails reorienting your spiritual understanding this entails opening you up to the nature the character and the systems of the kingdom when your mind is enlightened you are open to the nature of god the character of god then the mysteries the systems the principles of the kingdom is taught you when that happens that door that is a stronghold for demons to access your life is closed and closed once and for all let me give you an instance let's assume that an individual is suffering from the ministry of um let's say there's hardship are we together now the spirit come promise he likes to talk about increase so let me use him watch this let's assume that this gentleman here has all kinds of hardship in his life let's even assume his finances and now i pray for him because say by revelation i see that there is a spirit behind that tragedy did you know that if i pray for him he may fall down and stand up he may even experience an instant testimony by evening someone will give him maybe a little check or some money ten thousand twenty thousand whatever it is but this gentleman will not sustainably stay delivered until i teach him the kingdom principle allocated for keeping the spirit of poverty at bay forever are you getting what i'm saying now now i prayed for him and through the advantage listen carefully there is a prophetic covering over him and he may enjoy some level of results by the reason of that prophetic speaking over his life but for sustainable result to personally keep the spirit of poverty at bay he must understand the economic system of the kingdom failure to do that will only recycle his pain it's a matter of time notice that demon spirits have observed the carelessness of people in the body especially men of god that we are not thorough in creating spiritual enlightenment so they are not afraid to live are we together so i can look at him before i touch him ah he's manifesting the spirit goes and he gets up and he's happy and i hug him i say okay so go and prosper it is done it is not done i assure you it is not done halfway done that guy remember the bible says that spirit will go around and say i will return to my house he will come back and find the mental construction of that individual still conducive for his operation he won't enter alone he will gather more wicked spirits of poverty higher than him and then return to that man that's why you find out that people receive miracles and breakthroughs and two weeks later it looks like everything just knows dives they refuse to engage in transformation and sometimes it is members that put that pressure on pastors they are not trained to sit down and receive the word we want sharp sharp everything are we together man of god why is my life like this i, I have watched with shock how that sometimes people can tell me apostle a b c d is wrong with my life and then i tell them okay listen to the following messages and then come and see me afterwards maybe listen to gaining spiritual stature listen to this and that and they just say thank you 
And sometimes I can even point and say, the media stand is there. Just go there and they'll give you the teachings. They will laugh and do as if they are going to turn and then turn around, just greet and say, sir, just touch my head. That's all me I want. You see that? It's a sign that many of those people may not receive complete deliverance. And the danger is that if they don't receive it, they will go back and then in their frustration, they'll say this man of God may not really be a man of God. Are we together? Have you been to the hospital where a doctor will give you an injection now? There's that one, you take it immediately. You turn and receive it right now. And then he can now tell you, okay, there's this drug. In addition to that injection, take this morning, afternoon, evening for five days. After five days, return back and let me look at your condition. Are we together? Now, if you take that injection, you can decide to go back and be careless. It's amazing how your health is dependent on those drugs. And then you don't take them and after five days, you return and say, doctor, something is wrong. And the doctor said, no. If you did what I told you, I already know what should happen. So I'm surprised that this is not happening transformation through the word he came and met the man in his right mind remember that the man later became an evangelist and won the decapolis 10 cities because his mind was right the bible says in romans chapter 12 when you read from verse 1 and 2 specifically verse 2 it says um and do not be conformed to this world I've taught you again and again, the Greek word there is the word aeon. The thinking pattern that comes with a dispensation. Do not be conformed to this world. It says, but be ye transformed. Everybody say, be ye transformed. It's not an advice. Be ye transformed. How? By the renewing of your mind. Transformation. Renewing your mind is deliverance. It is the scriptural way to close the door that authorizes spirit entities to find expression in a person. Transformation. Transformation. Transformation is the way you become spiritual. A spiritual man is just, it's not just one who prays in tongues. A spiritual man is not just one who serves in church. Listen carefully. A spiritual man is not just one who is ordained. A spiritual man is not just one who is serving in a department. A spiritual man is one who has exalted the word of God. Listen very carefully. And the ways of God above the senses so that man is governed not by his sensory perceptions but by the word of god when the word of god becomes the vista your your plane of looking at life you are a spiritual man you can pray in tongues and ignore the word you are not a spiritual man most times we convince ourselves that just because we find ourselves around dissipating spiritual energy committed in spiritual activities we believe that because we have done that for a long time we are spiritual no that may be religion true spirituality is measured by how much the word of god has not just found expression in your life but has been received and the degree to which you are living by it many people are not spiritual you know it by how they respond to life a little challenge and you see them talking and you are wondering ah after five years in church, ah, I'm stomach pain. I'm dying. Everybody, do. We, ah, bah, no. The word of God is supposed to become a culture, a way of life. It influences your mind. It influences everything about you. The Bible says to be spiritually minded. It says to be carnally minded is death. Not will make you die. It's already death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace it says set your minds above where christ is seated are we together now you can set your gaze not by looking up by indoctrinating yourself with the truth of god's word such that you are immovable you are unbendable that's what it means to be spiritual 
when you are transformed and you experience this dimension of deliverance, you now tear down the strongholds that operate in your life through thought patterns. Everybody say thought patterns. Please shout it. Say thought patterns. Check every territory where spirits seem to gain grounds. The way those spirits gain grounds is by making sure they create a mind control system so that the average person within that spiritual climate thinks in a certain way. I'll give you an instance. And please, I don't want you to feel embarrassed or whatever. I am not insulting any territory. But for instance, if you see a territory where there is a high rate of maybe people getting pregnant without marriage, you find out that it's not just a wicked spirit that is working there. There is also a mindset. Are we together? That a lady of 12 years can be pregnant and the father can say, I'm proud of you. I mean, I can't believe you did this. This is, this is, this is fantastic. Meaning by tithing, you have settled the devourer. Yet you find out that that man's life does not change. Call for any kind of meeting that will give financial intelligence. He will look at you and say, no, it's not for us. You can go and uh, if God will bless me, he will bless me. So mindsets. We come from different territories. Some of us come from territories where it is easy for anger to come. Because revenge is part of the way the culture is built. Don't let anybody take you for granted. A knife for an eye. If somebody touches you, give it back to him sevenfold as a sign that you are not weak. So in such cultures, if you don't revenge, you are, you are tainted as being weak. So now you are born again and a brother offends you and there is that itch to revenge. And what a joy. A spirit has found a platform and the spirit of anger comes. And before you know it, you wind your hand and give your wife a slap and suddenly remember that you, you, you are supposed to have crucified the old man at the cross. Are we together? Yeah. Listen, let me tell you. You know you are transformed when it takes a long time to trace you to a culture. Let me say it again. You know you are transformed. Aside from the physiological, the physiological features that sh can show that, okay, you are Yoruba, you are Hausa, you are Igbo, you are South-South and all of that. Aside from that, there should be such a level of, of an excellent approach to life based on the word of God. That if it is based on your communication, I should find a hard time knowing whether you are Yoruba or Hausa or Igbo. It's a sign that the word of God has superimposed your culture and your cultural limitation. Sadly, I can look at people and almost in a heartbeat just say, you are from here. Yes, you are from here. Yes. The way you are behaving, it looks like you are from Plateau State. Say yes, sir. Say, huh? They're all like that. The way you are, it looks like Kaduna Abi. You look to me like you are, are you from Delta? I'm from Delta. How did you know? How do I know? Am I, am I mad? That's not a very, that's not an applause. Are we together? Because it's a sign that although you claim to be in Christ, experientially, you are still holding on to the strongholds and the mindsets. Are we together? That your transformation will so shock those around you. They looked at the disciples and they wondered, ah, are this not, what, what suddenly happened to you? They were so changed. One time they wanted to go back to this, their life of war again. They said, Jesus, should we command fire? And Jesus turned and said, do you not know of what spirit? You have suddenly forgotten that you are from heaven. Transformed. Someone will look at you and say, I know you are going to deal with him. I trust people from your place. Abba, this guy is in for a shock. And all of a sudden, you reach out to someone in love and hug the person. And you look and you say, this is strange. You say, this is not strange. I have been called out of every tribe, of every tongue. Listen to me. Of every nation. Are we together? Yes. This is the basis. Let me tell you the truth. And I want to say something now that is, is a bit sensitive, but listen to me. I think that this is the reason why many people, especially our loved ones, fear certain individuals traveling or marrying or living across certain regions. Because they fear that based on the default experience, are we together now? There can be a problem there. And they are right, except for transformation. They are right. Are we together? So someone says, oh, I want to get married to someone from the north. 
and the mother looks and says, is this, what, is this how you want to repay me? After, after all I've done to you, this is, this is, and then you now say, ah, the man is, is, is even, is, that's why a small church has started a work. I say, hey, he's even a man of God. It may not be your father or your mother or your relative's fault. They have observed through time that goodness. If someone within those regions accept the call, you accept the call and accept the stronghold that comes with that call too and suffer and almost, you know. But then they are amazed when they see that there is an excellent mind. Hallelujah. An excellent mind that vetoes your background. Say I've been called. Say it. Say I've been called. Out of my tribe. Out of my tongue. Out of my locality. I come from heaven. I only pass through my geographic territory. If you don't understand this, then we are wasting our time this night. Because when we begin to pray, we are going to tell Satan, it is true. That you oppress people from Plateau State. But I'm not from there. You see that? It is true that you oppress people who are Yoruba people. It is true that you oppress Igbo people. But I only pass through there. My origin. My origin. So you don't tell me, oh, this land was dedicated to this. You may be right. But ah, I've been called. Something called me out of that tribe and tongue. Let me tell you. The fact that whatever is in your territory is still affecting you is proof that it still recognizes your cultural loyalty. Like if you are a football fan, let's assume you are a faithful football fan of, uh, give me one club side. Let me not create trouble now. Arsenal. And you are so faithful that they have your number. Even when you say I hate them, you can still get a text from them. There's a meeting tomorrow. It's a sign that they still recognize your loyalty, your fellowship. It's amazing how we keep saying we are not tied to these things and when the spiritual text is sent, you get it. <laughs> the devil says you can talk all your nonsense. As far as I'm concerned, I'm sending a general text of failure to anybody in this family and you are shocked that it reaches you. I say, no, my phone, you shouldn't receive this. That's your business. Your number was in the database. Transformation. Transformation 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 to rush to God receive instant deliverance and run away from God is only implicating yourself the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower listen he said the righteous run it to it it is a he runs in and then runs out and he saved he runs into it and stays there he that dwells not he that visits he that dwells listen is the reason why many of our loved ones never receive breakthrough they hate the house of God so when they hear that there is a special program they say well since you insist let me visit and they come and experience the power of God and then they tell them be planted in the house of God mm, all this church touch thing I'm not I'm not in it please then they go back and then they find out that it's a matter of time this spirit's coming let me tell you if you are a pastor this is one of the reasons why you should trust God to have crowds come. It's not numbers. It's that you are giving God an opportunity to transform more minds. It's not all about just trying to look for a name. Oh, overflows here. Yeah, we are this. I notice that there are men of God who so, I, I, maybe sometimes well-meaning insult crowds and insult pastors with large membership and make it look like it's not all about crowd. My brother, for God so love how many? That sounds like a crowd to me. He didn't say, for God so loved Jerusalem. He didn't say, for God so loved Nazareth. For God so loved Judea. No. It is God's will that all men be saved. And then the Bible tells us that part of our ministry is to disciple nations. Have you heard that word? To disciple nations. To disciple nations. Come from the word discipline. To keep them in a position where they learn to teach them the matters of the kingdom you must receive an appetite for the word of God you must receive an appetite members must learn the value of sitting with the word to be mentored and to be trained I 
have great respect for churches where the average member already knows the usefulness of sitting down to learn. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. One thing is needful and that Mary has chosen to sit at the master's feet. It takes time to produce results so that your mind is changed, transformed. Are we together? So deliverance through transformation and transformation by the renewing of your mind. The word of God being the principal channel for your transformation. Are you willing to submit yourself to be transformed? against culture against the the nominal mindsets the mainstream mindset that comes because let me tell you you become more like christ when you think like him that i'll forever be changing nothing. be chasing after you not just for two days not just for one week that I'll forever be chasing after you I'll be chasing after you after his word and pant after his presence day and night chapter 1 and verse 8 Joshua the formula that God recommended for success he says this book of the law so the foundation of a believers possessing his possession this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth he says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night how long day and night say it after me day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein. Then and only then shall you make your ways prosperous. Who will make his way prosperous? He says, and then you will have good success. This is God advising a man. Number three. So that we'll move to the next level. The third level of deliverance. And this is the final level is called the discipline of conformity write it down the discipline of conformity this is where you actively participate and this is where a lot of dear brothers and sisters around the world miss it the discipline of conformity as a level of deliverance Romans chapter 8 and verse 13 and then we we'll look at Galatians chapter 6 verse 8 Romans 8 13 1 to read it's projected 1 to read let's start again for if ye live after the flesh I told you what the flesh is a way of living a way of thinking are we together it says ye shall what but if ye through the spirit so you will mortify but an agency will empower you you are in grace but the doing is you i told you that grace has dimensions not all dimensions of grace work automatically there is saving grace you don't do anything you just receive there is grace that empowers you to do you participate the disciplinary dimension is your responsibility if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, what will happen to you? Please talk to me. You shall live. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 8. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, surrender mean bribery like corruption political party corruption means death death period in one word death 
But he that soweth to the spirit, a man can sow to the flesh, a man can sow to the spirit, both are soils, and the Bible guarantees that the harvest is waiting for you. When you walk in bitterness, you are sowing. Oh, dear farmers, listen to me. You walk in bitterness, you are sowing. I'm born again. But what is this guy trying to show me? And you are sowing. And the Bible says a harvest will come. You don't, you don't walk with your wife. You are fighting your wife. You are sowing to the flesh. The harvest is that your heavens will be closed. The Bible said so. You are born again. You are anointed. But for being unwise in treating your wife, you pay the price with a closed heaven. That tight open. And then your disobedience shuts the heavens again. So a titan wife Peter is plus one, minus one. What's the answer? Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. One of the ways to sow to the flesh is to think that God is an expert in inconveniencing and rubbishing your life. You know, many believers believe that when you hand over your life to God, it's a call to stupidity, especially our generation. What is this you and church? Come, darling. What is you? Are, you, are, you are a fine lady. You are a wonderful lady. I mean, there's a, a rich man somewhere. What is this church thing? You are turning your head. Don't mind this stupid apostle around. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. A man can sow to the flesh, and I promise you, whether you stop, whether you scatter the soil, it will still grow. Because they are all fertile soils. Could it be that many people, although the demons were casted, the discipline of conformity, discipline, the spirit of God will empower you, but you must see the value of waking up in the night to pray as a principle that helps you confirm. Are we together? Don't sit down there and say, Lord, the grace is not there, it's raining. This night is so cold and you're just fresh. You are not serious. You have to speak. You have to create your reality. Someone can meet you and say, my dear, you are a very beautiful lady. There is a bar around. God has granted you the grace. You use your mouth and say no. You can say, well, let's see how things go. You have sown to the flesh. There is a harvest coming. When you get tipsy and a truck jams you, that's the harvest. Where you snuff tramadol, and you lie down by the bridge and Mopol comes to carry you and they jail you for five years. What? That's called harvest. Say harvest. Shout it. Say harvest. It doesn't matter how it came. Listen. This is not being under the law. Get the point. This is not being under the law. God is not a fool. He works with us physically. If God tells me to bless you watch this now if god tells me to give you ten thousand if i say come and collect why do you come why do you get up and come and stretch your hand and say thank you you are participating it took discipline for that to happen are we together let me tell you this god can speak and say pastor alpha you will be a mighty man if you don't have the discipline of constraining yourself to conform to that word, you will keep seeing yourself raising wheelchairs in your dream till you die. You will never see it. There is nothing in the kingdom that does not require discipline. He said, he that warreth is not, he that strives for mastery, he said, is not crowned except he strives lawfully. There is no gift of fasting. Hello? Have you ever seen it in the Bible? There is no gift of... Whoever lied to you that fasting, your stomach will not... You will hear all kinds of noise while you are praying. You have to choose between the noise and your destiny. It's the discipline of conformity. Lord, if I stop fasting now, and this grace goes down, what of the people that will be blessed? No, I receive grace, I will pray. You think those who get up in the night and pray and those who fast, just a, a supernatural wind just blew somewhere. No, sir. I'm sorry to say this, but our generation is a 
very indisciplined generation. That's why we don't become successful. We don't take anything serious, not just God, even our destinies. Are we together? You start a business, you open your shop by 12, you close it by 4 at will. You may have a bottle of olive oil in that shop. I guarantee you, you will still fail because there is no discipline. Father, if it be thy will, take this cup off me, but mm, nevertheless, nevertheless, it is within my power. I have the power to lay it down. I have the power to take it up. I have the power to keep quiet. I have the power to speak. When they talk against you, you have the power to keep quiet so that God will now arise and fight. Let's not throw everything to God and just make a fool out of our lives. You have the power to be disciplined. God has anointed you to be a good worship minister. You need to be disciplined to wake up in the night to pray and receive songs. And write and edit and receive songs. As a man of God you are called, you need to be disciplined. To sit down and take notes and research materials. Do you know, let me tell you sincerely. Jordan is here and he will tell you. Do you know how many books I read just for this, this series? You won't believe it. I listened to more than 11 to 15 ministries. Different perspectives. Not because I don't know anything about it. Why will you read so many books just for a series? Everybody say discipline. Please shout it. I know you don't like it. Say discipline. Nothing just happens like that. This is where many of us miss it. There is a dimension of deliverance called the discipline of conformity. You constrain yourself on the strength of what you are looking at there's too much distraction you want to be great but anything goes oh someone is marrying somewhere i need to run and go yet god is calling you You're a man of god you have a conference in two days you are there one naming ceremony there you are there again to court uh, to, to to one of you are, you are just moving up and down and then you wonder why the power of god does not come discipline There are times I'm so tired, humanly speaking, let me tell you. Sometimes you see it. I can be so tired, the last two weeks I've been ministering every day back to back. You think if I have, if I have my way, what do you think I, I want to be doing now? Just find somewhere, somewhere and, and throw away my phone and, and shut my ears and sleep. It's called discipline. Yes, there is grace. But let me assure you, if you are not disciplined, you are abusing the grace of God. There are many funny graduates around just waiting and believing that with, with indiscipline and carelessness, they don't pay attention to conform to the terms of success. Insult anybody and believe they will prosper. My father is this. No respect for authority. No respect for anything. The discipline of conformity. Philippians chapter 3. We'll read from verse 12 to 15. Philippians chapter 3. Not as though I had already attained. This is Paul. Either were already perfect. The word perfect there is the word mature. But I follow after that if I may apprehend that for which I am also apprehended of Christ Jesus. 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. One of the sponsors of indiscipline is an arrival mentality. The moment you believe you have arrived, the deception of little results, the deception of little success. One thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and doing what? Reaching forth unto those things that are before me. 14. I... The first two words, please speak to me. I remember this was the guy that taught us the Pauline epistles. I press. I press. Have you read that place that the Bible says to work out your own salvation 
with fear and trembling I press towards the mark I press I press towards the prophetic word it is true that God has told me you are a deliverer in this family and the grace has come that grace will make sure I must be on fire so I press I wake up in the night Shaka Patakata Lord the mantle for the deliverance of this family is in my hands while they are sleeping they can sleep but I press let every other name fade away Let every other name fade away. Ah. Let every other name fade away. Listen. Listen. It will take you engaging prophecy through discipline. Otherwise, it will never come to pass. The ministry you have seen in the spirit, no matter how many demons are casted out of you, if you don't cooperate with the spirit to, com to conform, you will never have it. You can sit down and see yourself building, building an estate. I saw an estate and I saw a spirit behind the estate. Apostle Joshua Selman can say in the name of Jesus, that spirit go. The spirit has gone. But you do not sustain the discipline to sit down. That discipline may mean upgrading your mind. That discipline may mean you sitting and speaking every day. That discipline may mean you telling certain friends, look, I'm in a new season. I love you. I know we're from the same background, but honestly, I must leave you now. Discipline, I can tell you this from experience. You will never do business with God if you ignore discipline. I think. Don't just think, no, you have a right to do whatever you want to do. It takes discipline. To sit down and count the money and say in the name of Jesus, I know that I, I have what it takes to complete this nice shirt. But in the name of Jesus, I choose to say no. I love my tomorrow more than my yesterday. I love my tomorrow more than today. Spirit of the living God, I will, I will, I will walk with you. I discipline myself. It's better to be hungry today than to eat tomorrow's food today. Are we together? The next time you admire someone with a mighty hand of God, let me tell you, among the many parts of the equation, don't just say he's lucky. There is discipline. I say this with all humility and not to brag. When I stand here by 7, I live here by 12, almost every Friday. It takes discipline. Do I have to do it? If I say I'm not seeing anybody, nobody's going to even say, Apostle, you have tried. I come and stand here and I go back home and it's not sleep that I'll sleep. Sometimes by five, I have to be up to catch a flight. Say discipline. Don't just say, Kai, God is increasing these people. Discipline. It takes discipline to see God's money and leave it there. Really rest upon your shoulder. I remember a few years ago, we went to a particular hotel, very nice hotel, went for a ministration. And I was preparing for the meeting. The hotel had swimming pools, had a lot of things. And these were wonderful people. I mean, when these guys saw this swimming pool, they were happy. They just went, they were swimming, they were playing table tennis. I was just watching them from my And I laughed. The luxury. But somebody is coming three hours later, crying and saying, Lord, will you change my destiny? And I swim away that person's miracle. <laughs> there is a time to swim. Now is not the time. Don't get me wrong. There is a time to swim. Are we together? Discipline. There are times that I go to minister somewhere. And they prepare a very serious honorarium. And God says don't collect it. Bless the people. Say discipline. It takes discipline to obey. Lay your hands on your head and say, Lord, take in discipline out of my life forever. Pray. Shabakato sadabalakata. Discipline of conformity. to take my
my destiny seriously. The grace to take my assignment seriously. The grace to take the destinies of others seriously. That through discipline, I can cast out devils from my life. Discipline in waking up early. Discipline in studies. Discipline. This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I press by faith as a sign that I believe my future. Please sit down. Thank you. If these three levels of deliverance doesn't happen to you, forget about possessing your possession. The spirit may be casted out, but your mindset will allow it to stay. Do you know, for someone, you don't have any spirit in you, but this is the access point. For others, just discipline. God told you that there is something you have to read in a book. You bought that book since January till today. And the Spirit of God is waiting for you. And you are saying, Lord, you've not brought your word to pass. And God said, no, 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 no. I answered you since January. The indiscipline to sit down. I will go to Jordan's bookstore tomorrow. Uh, Jordan, is this book around? It will arrive next week. You don't follow up. All successful people, whether in the secular or in this, even those who drink and smoke, they are disciplined. Forget all that acting they do. They are very disciplined. Disciplined with money. There are people like that. God has casted the devourer but indisciplined. You collect a salary of 30,000. You carry your friends immediately to a restaurant and blow up 20,000 and wonder why the spirit of poverty still remains. Discipline. As a student, you are wearing a uniform of 10,000. 20,000 and all your parents give you in a month is 5,000. Say indiscipline. That's right. Indiscipline. I don't cook. You are a student. I don't. It's not, I'm, I'm, it's not my thing. This, this, our pride is what in Africa especially is why these spirits never let us go. What of our parents? The discipline of getting, ble oh, sir, um, God is going to touch you, but can you be disciplined and just wait? Um, I'm not, I, I can't do that. I can't. I, I, you want life to bless you at your own terms. That's a joke. Who for the joy that was set before him, what did he do? Endured. Endurance takes discipline. Have you seen people in a gym? Someone in a gym trying to work out. Have you seen people laughing in a gym? Except if they are producing videos for you to buy. But if, if they are in a gym, meaning be carrying all those things, look at the world heavyweight. Their faces become ugly, and yet they are determined. While he's doing that, he's seen the trophy already. You need to see something that gives you the strength to not be distracted. And we... We'll never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. Hallelujah. You see a pattern in your family where all the women marry terrible and unserious men watch this now now it is true that you have been delivered that spirit was casted out are we together please hold on and then god now helps you to think well and then god says wait until my will comes what does he tell you wait until my will comes but in discipline your body is itching all of a sudden one irresponsible guy just appears from nowhere and says, um, uh, you know how things are. Don't keep waiting like this. And you stand and God is telling you the choice is yours. Do you know? If you get up, you know the man is smoking. You know he's drinking. He says, I don't smoke all the time. Once in a while, I say, okay, I can make do with that. Remember, you are making a choice. Through indiscipline. 
and God is watching but I'm supposed to deliver you I'm, I'm bringing you out I'm using you as a specimen and you say God I can't wait again please I can't wait if, if by March or by, by August this guy whoever shows up the devil said what did you say fine whoever shows up and he will just go and drag one funny guy and just because the guy is in church and he wore a tie and, and talking with belt does not mean that he's serious and before you know it through indiscipline are we together now through indiscipline you now say yes i will marry you your father will say i'm i'm sensing that you are in danger i said daddy don't worry about me please age is not on my side and you marry and you find out that the same thing that happened to your elder sister has now happened it was not the spirit the spirit was casted you paid the price to get a correct mindset the information for your deliverance has been given but the discipline of conformity was not there shout i will wait one of the hardest things for believers to do is to wait until the hand of god comes to assist you this is not just in the issue of marriage in the issue of job god says stay i will direct you the next thing you just hear that okay there's something somewhere and you say kai i don't i'm ashamed the last time i went for a wedding i saw all my classmates they were all in cars and me they were even asking what are you doing pastor you are still like this and the next thing you jump when when the devil wants to destroy some people he will make sure you get visa to us whereas your the will of god for you is in nigeria and you smile your way to us out of the program of god it takes discipline it would never have been my desire to be in Zaria by this time. No. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. with 
your presence. We wait on you. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. I wait on you. Please sit down. Let's hurry up. Experiencing complete deliverance. Write it down. Be sensitive now. I prayed for a very strong angelic manifestation tonight and the Lord told me that once I got to this topic, just this experiencing complete deliverance there will be very mighty angelic activities John chapter 19 please let's hurry up from verse 28 to 32 or to 30, let's stop at 30 experiencing complete deliverance this is good news. That means it is possible that a man, Jesus himself, how many of you know that his words are powerful? Jesus said, no matter what happens, there is a potential in the kingdom that a man can be completely free. He that the son of man sets free is free indeed. Apostle, this is good news. You mean after 100 years of captivity in my family, there is a way out that there is a way out that I can say it is finished finally the chain of barrenness finally the chain of poverty finally that people don't rise in this family that there is a cause and a yoke that a time can come in a believer's life where like Jesus you say it is finished complete deliverance yes sir Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The cause can go. Yes, sir. The barrenness can go. The failure, the retrogression. I saw my father go down. I saw my mother go down. So there is a way out in Christ. Jesus, the son of the living God, said it is finished. He opened a new and a living way a pathway that a man can obtain complete deliverance not up to there and down tomorrow hallelujah be sensitive sit down we are not, not praying yet that's why we kept the oil here because the oil too is hearing the sermon I want to show you a mystery it is this revelation that makes deliverance a mystery from part one to three to four this is where we are coming to now listen and pay attention and let me tell you i want to show you how i was delivered get ready for my i want to show you what worked for me i am a testament of this i would never be where i am today until god himself revealed this by his spirit and i want to show you complete deliverance complete deliverance I, truly I came with my heart open I cried to God and I said Lord this, this thing has to go everybody shout it is finished shout it again it is finished this is Jesus speaking not angel Michael it is finished so he gave me access that it is possible. Oh, look how healing this is. And you mean, did you know? Look, some of you here, as I'm talking now, you are just thinking of the mess in your background that you have been crying and say, Lord, it's just more deliverance I need. Hold on. Some of you here have counseled you. You come from backgrounds where your parents were priests directly. Not that they went to priests directly. There are territories here that were dedicated to all kinds of devilish idols. It is finished. I found this years ago. I told you about demons oppressing me. 
this simple scripture you see, when God shined it in my spirit, I was reading a book really. That's where it came from. But I said, Lord, I, I, I don't know, but this is what I'm seeing. And then God broke this thing down that I'm about to show you. Sit down. Sit down. Let's learn. We're going to pray. Experiencing complete deliverance. The first thing I want to talk about quickly and then I will show you the three ways is I want to teach you the legal system of the kingdom very quickly. The realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Please listen carefully. The the realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 2. Mighty God. 26 and verse 2. Read with me. As a bird by wandering and as the swallow by flying. Uh -huh. So the curse, causeless, underline causeless, shall not come. Meaning, if there is no cause for it, it should not have come. If you ever saw any limitation in your life, there is a system of authorization. Because there is a law in the spirit that when a thing does not have a reason to come, it does not come. So the barrenness, the failure, everything has a reason. A curse, causeless, cannot come. If it ever came, something authorized it. There is the legal system of the kingdom. Redemption, as we know, was done on legal grounds. Jesus did not just come. The Bible says the soul that sinned, it shall die. It's a law. God himself had to submit to that law. Are we together? It says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. So the son of God did not just become a man and came to the world. No. The Bible says by one man, sin entered. So it could not take a spirit to save men. It had to be a man. Jesus had to be a man. I want you to see the legalities that the son of God went through. Are we together? Jesus had to be 30 years to start his ministry. Because in Jewish custom, if you were less than 30, you were not considered a man. So it wasn't about his spiritual life. He had to wait and go through it until he was 30. Jesus could just fall from the sky. Like Elijah, the people say, Elijah the Tishbite. But Jesus had to grow in a woman's womb. And was born and cried and could die and grew from a young baby to a young child, teenager, adult and all of that. He passed through it. There is a legal system in the kingdom. Let me show you something. Isaiah 41 verse 20 and 21. The verse of emphasis is 21. Isaiah 41. That they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this and the Holy One of Israel has created it. Read 21 for me. One, two, read. Uh huh. This looks to me like a lawyer's language. This is the Lord speaking. Produce your cause, bring the legal terms, bring before me. So Abel said, I will produce my cause. And the blood went to heaven and said, God, have you not said whoever destroys man, whoever kills by the, lives by the sword shall die by the sword? I did not live by the sword and now somebody has slain me. My blood was cried and God came and said, Cain, your brother's blood is crying. And he said, am I my brother's keeper? I said, don't talk that nonsense. Blood is crying. The legal system of the kingdom. God, as kind as he is, is teaching us how to make him bless us. And he said, when you pray, ask me to give you this day our daily bread. Otherwise, you will never eat it. This is God. Son of man, say to these dry bones, I'm waiting for you. If you don't say it, it may never happen. I, the dry bones did not move at the word of God. It moved at the word of God through the mouth of a man. He says, say to this dry bone. The dry bone, ah, you are now talking. No. Bring forth your strong, how many reasons? 
bring forth your strong reasons why you think you should be the first graduate in your family. Bring forth your strong reasons as to why you think that you should not fail in life. Look at me. You saw people went to school and the devil taught them like a lion. Bring forth your strong reason. Why you are the last born in your family and you believe that like Joseph, you are the one who will feed them. Bring forth your strong reason. I, when I saw this years ago, I said, my God, Shalakatokaya. Bring forth your strong reason. Don't just sit down and think it will happen. There is the legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. So let me teach you three steps now. Number one. You want to experience complete deliverance. Your first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. And all the demonic powers over your life. Or your family or your church or your destiny. Whatever it is. The first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. Break the legal hold. A curse causeless shall not stand. Barrenness causeless shall not come. Failure causeless shall not come. Delay causeless shall not come. If it is there, something is authorizing it. Your first assignment is to break the legal ground. This is where ladies and gentlemen... I introduce you to the powerful mystery of the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, my precious blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, the blood, the blood eternal saving blood. Listen. When you are about to face the gates of darkness as a final onslaught, there is no other weapon that you can carry. The first weapon for true victory is the mystery of the blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. Five scriptures very quickly. Matthew 26 verse 27 to 28. Matthew 26. Matthew 26, 27 to 28. And he took the cup and gave thanks. And he gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. 28. For this is my blood of the New Testament. The blood is done, is what? Is shed for many. Why? For the remission. Remission. So a system has been initiated in the spirit. Remission. The word remission means to blot out. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. Ephesians 1 verse 7. Then we'll look at Colossians 1 14. Read with me please. 1, 2, read. In whom we have redemption. How? So how does redemption happen? Please talk to me. Redemption. Redemption through the blood, the forgiveness of sins. It didn't say the forgiveness of your sins. It doesn't matter whether it's your sins. Our fathers have sinned. There is a system. I used to think he said forgiveness of your sin. No. There is a mystery of atonement. Notice. For those of you who cast out demons, sometimes you see those, they just shout and talk, I won't go out. No, 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 no. The blood for the forgive, whatever ill to sin means to miss the mark. Whatever happened around my life, whatever happened around my lineage that authorized darkness, there is a system of atonement. According to the riches of his grace. 1 verse 14, Colossians. Colossians 1 verse 14. Once again. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Even the what? I hope you know there is a law in the spirit. 
that when you see the travail in the soul of your offender, your heart will be appeased. Look at this. Come, Sheol. If Sheol steals my handkerchief and they catch him, my satisfaction is in his punishment. Is that true? As they punish him, I now feel appeased. If they don't punish him, I feel bad. So the Bible says he shall see the travail of his soul. Who is the he? Not Jesus. Man in Christ. Because it was at the point of exchange. We offended the father. And according to this law, there is a requisite level of punishment that must appease the heart of the offender. And Jesus said, instead of you and your father, let me stand in for you. So while they beat him and blood came out, the father watched, took his face away. And then the Bible tells us that he was seeing the travail. That means the yoke and the ordinances that they did. Remember, they murdered missionaries in your village. And ordinarily, until these things happen and they kill everybody based on that, because their blood cries. But then God in heaven will see those who offended the grandfathers that made the cause to come upon the family in Christ. The travail. And the father says, that's enough. I set you free. It is finished. Redemption through his blood. Even. So there is a kind of redemption called the forgiveness of sins. That your wrongs, your sins... If sins are forgiven, then the consequences they bring are also forgiven. And the authorizations they give is also forgiven. Are we together? Revelation chapter 5. Just follow me closely. Jesus grant us grace tonight. We have to be fast. Revelations 5, 9 and 10. Quickly please. Revelations 5, 9 and 10. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book. And open the seals thereof. Uh -huh. For thou was slain. And has redeemed us unto God. How? By your blood. Out of every kindred. And every tongue. And every. And every. These are the four realms where causes exist. Look at this. Please go back to verse 9. Out of every kindred, every tongue, every people, every nation, everything was covered. We were redeemed by his blood. I hope you know that God ensured that Satan participated in the death of Jesus. That was the only way that the blood of Jesus could haunt him. When Cain killed Abel. Who did Abel's blood hunt? So whoever killed Jesus is the person who the blood of Jesus should hunt. Had they known this, they would not have crucified. Who are the day? Satan alongside the principalities and powers. Satan, God made sure in his wisdom that they all participated in the death of the son of the living God. And then verse 10, he says, he has made us a kingdom of priests unto our God. That we reign on earth. The last scripture. Revelation chapter 12. And verse 10 to 11. Popular scripture. Hmm. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying. Now is come salvation. And the kingdom of our God. And the power of his Christ. For the accuser. Of the. Not the heathen, the accuser of the brethren is cast down, which accuse them before our God day and night. Next verse. And they, he had been cast down, but to appropriate the benefit of what has happened, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. They overcame him. They overcame him. They overcame him. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Listen. Listen. The moment 
moment the mercy of God steps in. I've told you this. The moment the mercy of God steps in over an issue. My brother, my sister, listen to me. You know that card they call end of discussion. It truly is end of discussion in the spirit. The moment the blood factor comes in. Notice that when the blood was put on the lintel of the people. It had nothing to do with their personal belief in God's deliverance. The moment the angel of death saw blood. Even if it was Pharaoh. If Pharaoh's son entered one of those rooms where there was blood, he wouldn't have died. Even if he was cursing God from the room. The same stiff-necked people that cursed God later on were in that room. But because there was a covering of the blood. So every time we engage the blood, many believers don't know how to engage the blood to engage the blood is not just to shout i plead the blood i plead the blood i plead the blood alone are we together it looks like it's drizzling or rain or so please if it is just let the people find a way of stationing them around we're, we're about to pray so we'll find a way of making it happen are we together now everybody say the blood so the first mystery that brings deliverance is the blood. When I had this revelation, I began to pray. And let me tell you, that was when I found the mystery of Psalm 51. They gave you that scripture. Psalm 51 was something that I forgot about that scripture many years. It was this year that God reminded me again. Psalm 51. Please give it to us. Our time is gone. Let's see how we can do justice have mercy upon me oh god according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression too let's just run it wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin three for i acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me four against thee thee only have i sinned and done this evil in thy sight. Listen, let me tell you. You can carry your family and in covenant stand as you make. This is not just about one man. It can be one business. It can be one family. It can be one church. Many believers will not believe this. That thou mightest be justified when thou speakest. And be clear when, when thou judgest. Verse 5. You can read it down, down, down. Behold I was shapen in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. And you read this scripture and cry the mercy of God. Listen to me. Nineveh was a land that was so depraved. When God sent Jonah. Jonah said God I'm not going. He said I know you. I know you. I want to allow this thing remain so that you will be angry and curse these people. I know that if I talk to them, you are merciful. They will now repent and you will act as if they didn't do anything that warranted punishment. And he ran away. He ran away for a justifiable reason. There was something about God that he knew. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. The Bible says he is slow to anger. So if my father or my mother went to sacrifice a baby and drain the blood to send me to school and now there is a spirit that stands on legal ground, I can stand before God and knock on the door of mercy and say, Lord, I know that the soul that sins, it shall die. But do men die twice? Is it not appointed one for man to die? And after that, the judgment. And Lord, your son has died. And what judgment? No one condemns you if you are in Christ. And you stand on that legal ground. And God says, done. Done. It may have been 30 years, but done. Lord, I went to a herbalist myself because I was looking for a wife or husband. Lord, I went by myself. I wanted to pass exams. I went to Zaria City. I went and did this and that. Lord, I know that I did all of this. And you stand before him. And then the blood speaks. Every time the father sees the blood, Satan sees judgment. Every time you point the blood. To plead the blood does not mean to chorus it like a charm. To plead the blood means to bring to remembrance. It's not just saying I plead the blood. To plead the blood is a revelation. 
bring to the father's remembrance the substitutionary work of Christ and that the blood, the sinless blood of his eternal son that was given in exchange for my deliverance. Mm. That's the first thing I did. And that's the first thing anyone must do. If all you keep doing is in the name of Jesus, I'm free, you are in trouble. Pleading the blood entails a broken and a contrite heart. You see, let me tell you, there is a level of repentance that brings the hand of God to a man. It's not this arrogant, I plead the blood, Lord, just get up and break 250 years yoke of killing people in my, in my village in the name of Jesus. After all, you died. No. A broken, there is an attitude that makes the blood effectual. Are we together? The fact that the Bible says we should come boldly does not mean it says we should come arrogantly. Lord, I stand before you and I know that on my own I will never be able to make it. I watch my mother cheat people. I watch my father cheat people. I watch my siblings cheat people. Somebody lost a job because of his wickedness. It is true that as a family we deserve this. But Lord, I stand on behalf of my family, if my people, which are called by my name, although they are called by my name, it is not automatic. They must humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. And I said, Lord, it's a deal. And I cried. I would never forget that night. Lord, let your grace and your mercy speak for me. My grandfather served you until he died. Even on his deathbed, he died for Jesus. In your anger, remember mercy. Lord, if you leave me the way I am, I will never make it in life. Lord, can the dead praise you? Let me show you how people touch the heart of God. Lord, if you take my life now and you allow witchcraft kill me like it killed everybody in my family, can the dead praise you? Lord, if I give birth to children out of witchcraft, you are presenting your strong reasons. Lord, is it not you that has said you are a merciful God? I stand before you without argument. And God arises from heaven. Many believers do not know how to touch the mercy of God. It was the psalmist that would write everything he did on behalf of Israel and say they should make a poem out of it. Let us with a glad soul mind praise the Lord. He said, for his mercies endure. He's ever faithful, he's ever sure. He will even say, Sila, think about it. I didn't go to God with a bold face as a man of God to say, God, let me tell you something. My grandfather was a pastor. I love you. I, I, I don't drink beer. I stand before you in my self-righteousness. Is that pride that kills people? Someone must go down on his knees and say, Lord, a cause causeless shall not stand. There is a reason why we are failing in this family. There is a reason why doors are not opening in this family. And Lord, I stand before you. Who else will I run to, oh God? Will you let men see be like the saints of old? They knew how to talk to God. Lord, will the living, will the dead praise you? If you pay me, if you do this, do you want them to say you brought people out of Egypt but could not take them to the promised land? And the Bible will say, God repented. Have you heard that? He said, Come, let us reason together. That tonight someone can say, God. Will the unrighteous and the righteous receive the same reward? What then is the value of your blood? And you would think you are joking and God is listening to you. Lord, is it a crime that I came from the north? Must I fail the failure? Is it a crime that I'm an Igbo man? Must I fail that failure? Is it a crime? I came from a Muslim background. Now I'm born again. It is true that I went to all kinds of Alpha and the rest. But Lord, will I receive the recompense of sinners? Bring before him your strong reason. And cry for his mercy. I did that. You appropriate 
the mercy of God in your life. Number two. In complete deliverance, you cannot downplay the power of words. Write it down. The power of words. Your words are a vital tool in establishing the victory of Christ over your life and situation. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 37. Please, let's hurry up. I already sense fire burning in this place. We'll do this thing very fast and we'll pray. Matthew chapter 12, verse 37. Jesus said unto him, Matthew 20, chapter 12, 12 verse 37. Matthew 12, verse 37. For by thy words, thou shalt be justified. I will tell you what words. It's not any words. And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. You know what the words are? Let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Let those who have become benefactors of his blood make that announcement in the realm of the spirit that Satan, you heard my conversation with the king of glory and it is unto him I have sinned and he has decided to show me mercy. Therefore, I decree and declare that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare that I'm free from all of these chains. The Bible says, declare ye. It looks simple. We make declarations without appropriating the blood and the mercy of God. When it has to do with deliverance, the blood opens the door. And then your words, you sound that word to principalities and powers. Words. There's a reason why there was an echo. It is finished. Jesus didn't have to say it. He said it for a reason. And the curtain of the temple was torn from top to bottom. There is a new and living way that we can step in. I remember the Lord asking me to speak and say, son, begin to speak and denounce yourself from every walk of darkness and I began to pray I've obtained mercy I blot myself out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against me in the name of the Lord Jesus I obtained forgiveness I've been called out of every tongue I thought it was a joke until my life began to change in a remarkable way words are powerful for with the heart you believe and if you believe the blood speaks for you, then with the mouth, confession will be made. You don't keep quiet. The redeemed of the Lord speak. The righteousness that is of faith speaks. And then number three, complete deliverance. The ministry of the anointing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The anointing. Luke chapter 4, 17 to 21. Let's look at how Jesus announced his deliverance ministry, the messianic prophecy. And there was delivered to him the book of prophet Isaiah. And when he opened the book, he found the place where it was written, 18. Please, let's hurry up. The spirit of the Lord. He's about to deliver now. And he's showing us. So before anything. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he had helped me. Anointed me. To preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to preach the. the to heal the broken hearted. He had anointed me to preach deliverance to the captives. He has anointed me. To recover sight to the blind. He had anointed me to set at liberty them that are bruised. 19. He had anointed me to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. 20. We are reading to 21. And he closed the book. And he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. 21. And he began to say unto them this day when talk to me this day say this day that means from today 
Don't be surprised when you see people free. It's what he was telling them. He said, I just read it. Meaning if you see demons flying, it's because an anointing is upon me. And today, that ministry starts. This is what Jesus was telling them. He opened the book and showed them. He said, I'm showing you from the book. So you are not surprised when you see a woman bound for 18 years, all of a sudden free. This day, I have come as a fulfillment of that scripture. Today, somebody's this day. Because the book has been opened, it is this day. The day the book is opened, that's your this day. The spirit of the Lord. Because he had anointed me. Anointed me. Isaiah 10, 27. Isaiah 10, 27. This day. This day. This day. And it shall come to pass. When? Notice that everything happens in a day. It shall come to pass in that day. What day? The day your faith chooses. That day. The Bible says if you, if you hear his voice this day. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. That his burden shall be taken away. Somebody will come and carry it away. That means it never will belong to you again. Notice two things that will be taken. A burden and a yoke. And the Bible says, and his yoke from off thy neck. It says, and the yoke. Mashana katoska barakatoshi. The yoke shall be destroyed. Not because you are tired of it. Because of the anointing. There is an exact anointing that breaks yoke. It didn't say because of an anointing. There is a particular anointing. Now, let me tell you this. Not every anointed man can deliver you. This is what I want you to get. There is the anointing. An exact kind of anointing. Just because a man of God prayed for you. I'm telling you this, believe me. There is an anointing specifically ordained by God. The same way there is an anointing that prospers. The same way there is an anointing that heals. There is a dimension of the anointing that is allocated for detonating yokes. Like a bomb that is supposed to scatter somebody that was put by a wicked man somewhere and you come and do something to it and then it becomes like toy. Like a piece of paper. How do you know you are delivered? Strange results. Instant results. Instant open doors. Let me tell you. Deliverance is one of the things that happen instantly. My life changed like day and night. If I did ministry without this encounter, I would have been in for a rude shock. I found it. That there was a burden on my neck. There was a yoke. A burden on my shoulder. And a yoke from my neck. I remember going to my village and passing around. And seeing well-meaning people. Poor people. I saw how hard-working my father was. Very honest man. One of the most honest people I know in my life. Yet doors refuse to open. This man will rise up like this and crash as if God does not exist. They were the ones who trained us in the way of the Lord. I never saw my father carry one bottle of alcohol. Not once. My mother served God. She was so innocent. She didn't know anything about witchcraft. It was Nigerian film that made my mother know that there was something like witchcraft. She was that innocent. Yet nothing changed. But when I engage the blood and I make decrees and this anointing fell from heaven. Are we together now? You see why I said they should keep these bottles here? It's not just because of a ritual. Let me tell you. Except God did not send me. When this oil touches your head, many of you will step into instant visions. 
instant visions. Listen, you will, you will see things. All of a sudden, you will start seeing things that had happened before. And God will tell you this is where it started. The same way you go to bed. Hold it for me. Remember while you were doing your prayers, some of you kept seeing yourself. You were seeing where your problem started from. Secondary school, going back, seeing a lot of things. Look at the attack that happened. Some of you, all through while you prayed, you never saw anything good. Night after night, because Satan is a master of the flesh realm. I told you to just continue and don't mind him. The yoke shall be destroyed. I remember that anointing oil when I bought it that night. I left it open in the presence of God. I played Benihin worship from night, from, from morning till night. Soaking everything through my rechargeable. And when I did that thing, I was shaking like a leaf. I knew. There was like a physical mist in my room. And all of a sudden, I carried that oil. When that oil touched my head, that was it. I didn't even know where I was again. Alone in that room. I woke up many hours with strange visions. From that encounter, the revelations of ministry, I started writing like a madman. All of a sudden, doors. See, let me tell you. Do you know that everything that you have prayed for was answered? but hijacked. By the time this door is open, it's an avalanche. Things would look, let me tell you the truth. I'm not joking. You will see people within a short time. A lady that nobody has a business of saying, I want to marry you. The Bible says that how many people will come to you. I know it was speaking about men, but all of a sudden a brother that was ordained to be your husband but these wicked spirits will blind and make sure that they don't see you. By the time this yoke is taken, that brother goes to bed this night and God says, what are you waiting for? Your wife has been before you for 10 years. The helper of your destiny, standing and watching you like this. But there had been a decree, never help him. And you find out, you will bring a friend, two of you will come to plead for assistance. They will help the friend and leave you. There are some of you here with the kind of anointing God gave you, you should never be small. But you are even wondering why. I never call for people to come and they come. Something drives them. It was Bishop Oyedeko who was saying when Living Faith Church started, as anointed as he was and he is, their heavens were closed and they were fasting and praying. And the Spirit of the Lord told him, come out. And he came out and he looked. And according to him, he said he saw something that looked like a dark, a thick layer of dark cloud. And the Lord told him, this is the blindfolding layer that the devil put in the eyes of people to misrepresent what you are doing. And then he told him to command it and he declared that a light shines in darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it. And he said that the, the thing just folded like that. And he produced a poster with testimonies and wrote, come and see. That was it. Living faith took another dimension till tomorrow. When I caught this revelation, that was when I saw that publicity was spiritual. At the point I said it, people thought it was a joke. I don't mean to brag. I'm not saying posters are wrong. You go around this city, you are not going to find one poster. But we will shift a meeting just by a simple announcement. Shift it and people will come. You try that and tell people shift it and people say, ah, that's it, I found a reason. There is an anointing. When the yoke breaker comes and sits and his weight rests upon your life, I'm telling you, anything that is not him must give way. Are you ready to pray now? Rise up on your feet. Oh, oh.
after me in the name of Jesus. Please pray. In the name of Jesus. I declare that tonight is my night. I declare that everything that Jesus Christ did for me on the cross, it must be appropriated in my life tonight. Therefore, I declare that every yoke, every spell, every curse, every ordinance speaking against me and against my loved ones, tonight I command that you are leaving me. Open your mouth and pray. Shabarakatos, 
a few minutes what I'm pleading with you for the sake of your destiny just be patient with me and let's address this in this night are we together please don't let the devil many of you will find out right now that you are having the urge to just go is a spirit it's because the spirits are about to be challenged you may come with someone now as I'm talking he wants to ease himself he wants to cough it's a lie it's a spirit I'm about to challenge something now Hallelujah. Now, listen. This is what will happen. I'm going to pray on this oil. Please listen to the instruction, everyone. Those online, just get a bottle of oil so that while I'm praying, you can connect. If you are with your family members, get a bottle of oil. Even if they are sleeping, just touch their head. Please make sure everybody is touched by this oil. Are we together? If you have faith and you think you will not be embarrassed, you can even, the little oil that is in your hand, you can just place it on your stomach. Ladies, prophetically, you are touching your children unborn to say, no devil, no devil. John was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Are we together? Praise the Lord. By the time, by the time this oil, we are going to be fast. Now, because of the way it is, um, we are going to station, I believe, are there tables around outside? Or if there are not tables, at least there are, there, are, there are people who will stand. Now, this is what you will do. Please, we are going to coordinate. It's going to be very fast. There might be people falling under the anointing. We'll just help them. Please manage, help the usher so we don't injure anybody. Now, what I want you to do for me, please, just obey instructions. By the time we bless this oil, just a little of it, touch it on your head. If you have a little one, you can touch it on their head and then go back to your seat and start blasting in tongues till you are done. Don't pray anything in understanding. Are we together? Just go back to your seat under the anointing or not. Just find somewhere and pray in the spirit. And by the time I'm done, I'm going to lead us into some serious spiritual prayers and speak over our lives. And then you will go to bed. And let's watch the God of heaven surprise you. Are we together? Please, anything that can spoil, carry it out of the way. Please, let's be fast. Father, in the name of Jesus, you anointed me. And Lord, it is time for your people to rise. This is ordinary oil. But in the name that is above all names, the Lord is asking me to put my hands in all the oils. In the name of Jesus Christ, I put my hands prophetically upon every one of this oil. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let it be an extension of the grace that comes with this office. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place my hand upon this oil. Father, we have had many anointing services in this place. But in the name that is above all names, I command this anointing oil to carry the yoke-breaking anointing. Let it carry the anointing for strange and total deliverance. Whoever must die as a result of this prayer, as this oil comes upon your head, except God did not send me, a sword of judgment will search for them and bring them to the grave. If there is any physical agent that has held your destiny and said for as long as I'm alive, you will not move. People of God, I stand before you and I tell you by the message of the grace that I've received. 
God will not only take away that destiny, their life will pay for it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please cover them strategically. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Everyone under the sound of my voice, Lord, as they come under the influence of this oil, I decree and declare that let the fire from heaven not only fall upon their life, but turn every situation that must be changed around. In the name of Jesus, for those online, I pray for the various oils you are carrying. In the name of Jesus, as you anoint yourself and your loved ones, let the embargo of darkness, no matter how long it has been, let it break now and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please, let's have people, let's have them come quickly, quickly. You can start coming. Um, just coordinate them. I, I honestly don't know how we're going to do it, but we'll have to find a way. Yes, you can find a way of, even if it's for you to come and we can start from here and then you come and go or do whatever it is. Please, very, very quickly. Make sure you are praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, listen. Listen. I want you to pair yourselves into two very quickly. Just find someone. Find a neighbor somewhere. In the next, our time is gone, but in the next three minutes, all I want you to do holding the hands of that person is to just bless in the spirit. Just pray in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Shabata kata bara kato ka shada bara bara bara. Shabba bara 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 kata. 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 Shabba bara Jesus, lay your hands on your head. Fire is burning in this place. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare in this season, may the glory of the Lord that is upon my head begin to speak now. Open your mouth and pray. Thou, O oh Lord, are a shield you are my glory you are the lifter the lifter a man's head can be lifted shekete kato parakatos shabarato kasada bekata I declare the glory of the Lord upon my head be lifted Pray. 
Hallelujah. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Say in the name of Jesus. Every chain holding my life, tying my destiny. Say it again. Every chain holding my life, tying my destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be broken now. Lift your voice and pray. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain. Alakato Shabakata. Rakata Sateka to Sekete. Rekete Kete de Kete Kete Bush. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. I speak to the forces of creation. Hear my voice. Align yourself and cause the word of God to walk in my life. Lift your voice and pray. We speak to the elements of creation and the stars fought for the border and the stars fought for the border and the sun and the moon fought for Joshua and the earth fought for the woman we command the elements of creation align yourself Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. Say it again. Oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. It is out of you that trees grow. Therefore, I declare, according to the law of seed time and harvest, let my harvest locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray. Shabadagatos, ketabrakatos, eketa. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. He said, I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and leadeth thee in the way that you should go. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus, I declare that these hands that are stretched towards me right now become the hands of fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please put your hand on your belly. Just put that hand there. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Put your hands there. The Bible says, for out of your belly shall flow rivers. Say in the name of Jesus. Every treasure within me, as I lay my hands, I declare, come out now. Lift your voice and pray. Every treasure. Shaka to go to break it, take it, take it, in the last sort of practice. Cavara coach, Shashia Catavara Cato Soto Pricket. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
we are going to round up. Don't mind all the prophetic acts you are doing. I want you to just trust my leadership in helping you get results. Are we together? Are we together? I'd like you to stand where you are and say in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to the north. Say it, I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. Everywhere my help has been ordained to come from. In the name of Jesus, I call you. Locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. It comes from God, but it passes through men. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Just place your hand again on your head. Now, you are finished praying. Let me pray now. Any spirit that comes with ancestry, any spirit, hear my voice. You are a product of ancestry, sent and programmed for the, from the fathers to oppress the people of God. Right now, by fire, I declare by fire, I declare by fire, release their glory now. I declare by fire, Shobakatos Katarikato, Embre Tekaso Pakatadiakata, every legal ground, I break it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Showed me in a vision this one will hit many people many of you do not know this is what is responsible for your setback i already see angels standing in front and outside listen it's going to, you know you will not be able to stand it it's a fire are you ready now at the count of three some of you will not finish shouting jesus lord i pray you said if I can speak it, you will do it. I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, two, three. Go for Russia. Regressio. Go for Yeta.
for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy, put to an end. The power of God is still falling. I tell you, devils are under major attack by Paul's attack. The angels are walking. Don't wait till you fall down. Receive. Don't wait till you fall down. Has nothing to do with falling. Yay. 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 This was a sound that I had in the spirit. That's why I'm singing it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Bring her. It's time for her deliverance. I command you to come. I command you to come. Don't force her. She will come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come. Come and stand here. Yeah. 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 Listen. A scripture entered my spirit. It said, how awe-inspiring are your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit. When light enters you, it makes you a madman. Tonight is a night of major deliverance. Major, major, major. Yeah. Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. Listen, listen to me. Everybody look at me, please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of Acts. Is the acts of the Holy Ghost. Sir King Salama, Salama. He's called the Prince of Peace. Salama. Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Be still. Stand in one place now. Your time in this body is over. Your time in this body is over. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, out of her now. Come out of her. Out of her. Sir King Salama. Out. Come out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. He maketh his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Leave her now. She's free. Sarkin' Salama. 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 Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him.
come back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, distort, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out! Come out! This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord. Let her go right now. Thou foul devil. Come out. Come out. So pray take a pariada baladala. Sarkin salama. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See, do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out. Now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Shekataba. Brento Koprikata. Out of her right now. This is the spirit of lust. Go pros ketaliada. Be gone. There is no hiding. I tell you something. See, the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight. I don't care whether you are wherever. If you came here tonight, if except God lied to us in the Bible. But if he told us the truth, there will be a performance in your life tonight. Sirkin Salama. Come out. Out of her right now. Salama. Salama. Listen, let me tell you what happens in meetings like this. Some of you, because of this demon spirit, the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away, you, you better stay and let God help you. The devil is a liar tonight. Are you listening to me? Okay, I didn't finish with this guy. Watch what will happen to this brother. He's not looking at me. Oh. He's not looking at me. Just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't, don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. Right to his foot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
the fire of the Holy Ghost sets you free right now from your head to your toe. I lose you. I lose you. He's going to cough out something outside. Take him outside. He's going to go and cough out something. Sarkin Salama 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 Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus. Devil of darkness. Sarkin Salama Salama There's someone that has a problem, a heart problem, heart problem. That was your request, heart, something in your heart. I don't know what it is. The Lord is showing me. Please remember I told you, don't waste our time. Please. There's a lot of things we have to do this night. Heart. Something pertaining to your heart. If you are still thinking about it, you are not the person. Please, quickly. Salama 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 Hallelujah ah, ah. See There is a lady Now don't feel embarrassed At what I'm about to say You see snakes in your bathroom Ladies bathroom Who is that person? Come out come out this has been an issue you have not shared it with people snakes you are you see it who is the person please Salama. Salama, yeah. you are not the only one no you are not the only one this is the problem god god is ready to deliver you look this is a family are you listening to me this is not this is an apostolic ministry so there is we are here we are a family when god is mentioning your case forget about what what issue of shame issue of shame is out of the way hallelujah what's wrong with your heart asthma, asthma. is asthma really a heart this one i'm seeing a heart problem but i'll pray for you be healed right now in the name of jesus christ Listen, I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing Come out of her now. Out. Come out of her now, devil of darkness. The time is up. Just hold my hands. With both of your hands the fire of god will hold it as tight as you can it cannot stand it will leave you because you are destined for greatness once i see it in the spirit it must go for light cannot hide in darkness aha i see you now out go Go, Kapotoka, Reketaria, Mambroscote, Reketeria Daba, Boseketalia. Out, come out of her. Out of her right now. Sarkin Salama. Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe you want God to set you free? Sarkin Salama. Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go! There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Jesus. 
Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now. Out of her. This lady has a great destiny. This is a snake. This is what I'm seeing. This is a whole snake. Mighty snake. The Lord is against you. Let her go now. Out! In the name that is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama, yeah, yeah. Salama. Watch the way this demon will live. Come, see. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king, and off you go. Serkin Salama 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 yeah. Listen This is not jamboree As I see my father do it Don't go and try it You will die for nothing This is not child's play Hallelujah Don't you think we are just No I'm not one of those ministers I can't come and waste your time God is too serious Are you listening to me? Now lift your hands Many of you do not know. Listen, please. Now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. Marriage is a blessing, it's not a curse. As I, as I talk, as I talk, because you see, I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth. I want to break certain demonic things. Many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones. For some of you, it's a row in your family. Many people have told you nothing. Just, just hope one day. No, we don't do that nonsense in this place. Now, faith is... Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Listen. The moment we shout the name Jesus, some of you listen, you will testify. Whatever is happening to you here will locate all your loved ones around. Listen, the reason is because there are ordinances of darkness 
that are keeping some of you. Your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go. The Lord instructed me to do this. Hallelujah. If you are here or your loved ones, there has been delay. Men come, they go. Or maybe you have a child and you're thinking you will not marry. That devil is a liar this night. Are you listening to me? So don't just stand for yourself alone. Don't say it does not concern me. Don't be foolish. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? You will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit. Kai, because see, I'm seeing blood. I'm seeing blood dripping on the ground. Let me tell you what this means. There are covenants and ordinances. This is what the Lord is showing me. But my Bible says, the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Better things. At the shout of the name Jesus, the demons responsible for any marital delay, God, you said if I speak it, you will do it. Right now, at the count of three, it will hit some of you in a mighty way inside and outside lord let nobody be spared one two three break 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 ushers bring them out ushers bring them out break 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 Break, break, God, God, break, 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 the yoke be broken, the yoke be broken, the yoke, I release you, I release you, I release you, I release you. Every cause of marriage over your family, Tonight, be free, be free, be free. God, don't take at her, don't take at her. Time to get married. Hey, bring them out. Don't wait till you come out. The power of God is setting you free where you are. Yes, yes, yes. Ordinances. I'm seeing altars on fire. Altars on fire. Altars on fire. Altars on fire. I set them. If I be a servant of God right now, I set every demonic altar on fire. It will burn tonight. I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive. I release you. I release you. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now devil. Let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases terminal diseases all kinds of terminal diseases please you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease come out quickly terminal only terminal diseases please let's save time can we do that god is locating people there are some of you god has, god is already terminal diseases please come out quickly 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 i beg you if you can run run save time please please as you come out here, say, Lord, it comes. I hope you know what terminal diseases are. Healing rain. Healing Cry rain unto God. Wear that sickness bye-bye. Because it's going forever. I'm not afraid. Healing rain. Hallelujah. Now all of you because of time. Listen. Can you just hold your hands together? If you can. I'll just minister to you at once. Please. If you came here believing God. Then know that it will end. Hallelujah. There is an angel standing here. And there is an angel of the Lord standing here. Please listen. When we begin to minister to the sick, if we call a case and you came with the person, please make sure you come. Especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up, okay? The power of God will come upon some of you. But it really doesn't matter. That devil is going right now. The spirit is called the spirit of infirmity. Hallelujah. After I count three, you will say, I am healed. When that happens, it's like electricity. It will pass with power all around this place. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Go, Poto. Be free. Go, 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 go. Coming out this is go. Go, 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 
Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Go! 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 Come back with testimonies. Come back with the testimony. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come back with the testimony. 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 I speak to you, all of you. Come back with your testimony. Come back with your testimony. Hallelujah. Say, I'm healed. Go back to your seats. You can check yourselves. Please make sure you check yourself. Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here, you are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen, anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer, between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any cause you did not fail, listen, See, believe oh, any cause you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said I change it. I change it. I change it. I change it. Hallelujah. Any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in, every, in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because... I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of... We are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that... Wait. I'm going to count three. When that happens to you... Listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first-class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it. 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 Inside. Inside. Take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside. Receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back. Inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people at the back, outside here, at the back. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm walking as God is. Just, just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the lordship of Christ because I'm about to open, I'm about to tell it to open up for you. Are you ready? It's already happening to this sister. Now listen. Every department, every faculty in Amadubelo University, that cause that is threatening you right now, when I shall bow, many of you feel as if your head will open up. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, bow! 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 In the name of Jesus, bow! Bow! In faculty of medicine, bow! Faculty of engineering, bow! Environmental design, bow! Education, bow! Social sciences bow. Sciences bow. All the faculties in Congo bow. Every other faculty bow. Anyone with a missing script. Problem of missing script. I stand tonight under this unction and I command wherever your paper is where except you didn't write that exam wherever your paper is just as the donkey of kish was found i command that paper to be found now <laughs> hallelujah for all those whose assessments have been bad listen for this exam for all those whose assessment have been bowed, have been, uh, that are bad, in the name of Jesus, I release makeup test, makeup assignment, in the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch the hearts of the lecturers, no matter how hard they are. Hallelujah. All of you shout, I will excel. Say it one more time, I will excel. Say, excellence is my portion. Say, I refuse failure. Say, I refuse failure. I take you from pass, from third class. I take you into, some of you are, are trusting, let me tell you, any class you need to step up, I step you up right now. I know some of you are doubting. Do not doubt the creative power of God's word. It created the heavens and earth. I said I step you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those, whether you or your loved one, they've been writing jam after jam, wayek after wayek. You are looking for papers, it has refused to come. If God be God, if there is a God in this place, listen, those of you who are about to, whether jam, whether DE, you have papers that you need to make up. I stand as a servant of God. I give you the paper you are looking for. Those writing jam, I prophesy, write your last jam in the name of Jesus. Those writing whether Wayek or whatever to make up. And there are some of you who are about graduating. But the papers you have are causing trouble. And right now you already have a problem at the Senate. Mercy. 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 You must graduate. You must graduate. Let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school. God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus. 
God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people, you will read and even do tutorial for others. In the name of Jesus. That spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall, that you will only remember after you finish, right? Right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You cannot read like a slave. I forbid you from reading like a slave. In the mighty name of Jesus. I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick, you came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere it's hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on, lay your, hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now. Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. People think you are careless, you are not. That devil will leave you. Hallelujah. Some of you have HIV. It's not like you slept around. You too, you don't know how it came. Some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth. There are people, they've told you, you, you cannot, I, I, after I finish this, I'm going to specially pray for barren people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, listen, all of you inside, lift your hands. Lift your hands for that healing. I'm going to count three and the power of God will begin to come on sick people. Just those inside. Those inside. Hallelujah. The angels of God are moving inside. I see them. At the count of three inside. I tell you many sicknesses will disappear right now. The moment I count three, just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting. And start receiving your miracle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Receive right now. Take it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay your hands there. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. It's the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growth disappear. Terminal diseases go. Asthma go. Asthma, go. Every deaf ear be open now. Every blind eyes be open. If you are here and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. In the name of Jesus. Every lady problem, every woman problem, 
irregular menstruation ends now 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 the fire of God is burning I tell you the fire of God is burning every lump in the breast disappears now disappears now disappears now every growth in any part of your body every growth I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus any pain in any area of your body I rebuke it any trace of mental disorder whether for you or for your loved ones wherever they are and if you are here let the power of God touch you now let the fire of God touch you now let the fire of God touch you now let them go let them go out 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 every kind of mental problem whether it has manifested or not out 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 go go every curse every covenant hallelujah hallelujah now any woman here or your sister or you who has been barren please connect now is the time we want to release miracle children right now i don't care whether they have been barren for 10 years 20 years 30 years the bible says and god opened the womb of hannah listen i want you to stand you are a lady here you live the promiscuous life and then you found out that okay some things happened maybe you lost your womb or something god is about to give you a new one right now i don't care what the problem is hallelujah praise god i want to curse barrenness and impotency low sperm count all this demonic infertility whatever i don't care if it has a name is going to answer this night are you ready everybody inside make sure you are with me hallelujah praise the lord whether for you or for your loved ones right now my father in the name that is above all names lift your hands i pray there are some of you listen some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you it's just that you have not married yet so don't say until you are married the devil is wicked god brought you to set you free you'll be surprised hallelujah inside and outside you're going to shout jesus and God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One. Two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Supokoto, rekete keriata. Barrenness, go, 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 go. Inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside. Outside, fire is falling. The curse of barrenness. Tokoto peketa for your loved ones. Every barren woman receive children, receive children, receive children. Any impotency, whatever it is, low sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me. hallelujah i want to pray and prophesy 
we want to talk on the issue of finances right now. Everybody stand up and take this very seriously. We apologize for the lightning. I believe that maybe some hitches here and there. We'll soon round up. Hallelujah. While this is happening, please let's have all the prayer requests outside here. Look at me. See, listen, look up. The secret of financial blessing is in your giving life. Are you listening to me? I don't care what you are doing. The secret, if you are not a giver, whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit. It won't last. Are you listening to me? I want to minister to you. How many of you know that God is not glorified in anybody's poverty? How many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members? You know, you know what? Some of your parents, one job here, two months, they've driven them away. This is a curse. The problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seat. Don't murmur and grumble. Just keep your seat back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me. Look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her, devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I, I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They killed chicken. They killed one other animal. I think goat or something. And they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, give your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. People are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please, make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Ah. Are you ready now? My father, I pray, it's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty, go! 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 Keep the offering up. Go! Go, 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 go. For your family, I burn that spirit of poverty. It's a cause. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray poverty be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Jobless.
Covenant with me by sacrifice. I command doors of uncommon, unusual, inexplainable, and shall prosperity. Let it be open now for you and for your family. That joblessness ends now. God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place i don't know what i'm seeing i'm seeing it, the whole of this place the whole of this place lift your hands because god is about to visit you some of you it's not just financial issues god will join everything and visit you as soon as i shout receive it right from here down to this row this is what god is showing me the power of god will come in a strong way lift your hands all of you in the name of Jesus, at the count of two, just two, the wind will blow. One, two, let it blow right now. Take it, 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 take it. Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is, but when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa, your time is up. Your spirit out, out now. Pain go, come out. Supokotope kata lekata. Don bretons ke banda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me visit them. Please help them, help them, ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. Zidaba. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam, God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband. I have. It's your husband. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar? Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? I'm, I'm BP. BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. I, 
Are you building? Are you building? Madam, look at me. Yes. Are you? Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yes. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you, see. <laughs> Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families in the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring this sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come. Please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote... You wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points did you? Seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13. 13. You wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come. You are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that there is... Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. Follow somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do it to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locates this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina, 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 Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Ah. No, Regina. Don't miss your miracle. You are Regina? You. Ah. No, this Regina is here. Oh. Your name is Regina. Where is your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I think we should... Pray for your mother. Huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her. Huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Yes. Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This like a Jessica Christian attitude. Become a genuine Christian right now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo. God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. <laughs> Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing, as in, I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. 
Are you see? Look at, look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way. Listen, they did it in such a way. And this is the invocation that no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they do. Look at, I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at, this is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing, a very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. I listen to me. She, 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 I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, right from a small age, she has been seeing this strange power. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates. In, you are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs, rings on her hands, uh, ring on her eyes, even on her eyes here. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. This noisy spirit. You will go out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. I'm going to rebuke this some it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken this is what i'm seeing one by one they will mention their names and kill chicken leave her leave her leave her leave her come back just leave her she will come back by herself this thing is more than 800 years this is what i'm telling you am i wasting your time Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? your time of what did you come here for you are barren is that yes sir you are barren how many years 13 years i'm seeing one and three mm -hmm. how many years? 13 years 13 years you have been barren your 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 situation has come to an end <laughs> hallelujah lay your hands on your stomach what did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan. Nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep. Yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No, sir. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of... Take it right now. 
All right, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly, come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak and while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay, please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Joining hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus, even as you have declared through your servant. Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship in the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be open for every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. Devour us in form of sickness, in form of accident. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty in the name of Jesus. Marital liberty in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to, after this, I'm going to be inviting Uneko and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, O oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families. In the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. 
Let breakthroughs come. Academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses. That the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come. If you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they're all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed. Growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, Amen. in stature, Amen. and in favor Amen. with God and with men. Amen. We command this child to be an ambassador. Amen. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? Hallelujah. As we lay hands, all three of us will lay hands. You just lay hands. I'll come back and lay hands on them. As we lay hands on the children, we rebuke the hands of Satan. We rebuke the hands of Satan. No, let me lay hands on them before they go. We're we are doing it, all of us, please. Very quickly. These are instructions that God is giving. We're not just doing these things carelessly. Any child, any one child that has anything that is not of God, we cancel it right now. We cancel it right now. Eh? in the name of the Lord Jesus may the Lord visit this child let his hearing be perfected in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ see how wicked Satan can be in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ these children are blessed where is he? bring him the boy ran away because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? Run away. I tell him to stand, but he went. You see what I told you, spirits? You ran away to where? Wherever he is right now, in the name that is above all names, may the Lord visit him. You will go back and you will come and testify. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. May the Lord bless you. 
Madam, God is really visiting your family. May the Lord... Ah, you came out for yourself or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. The rounding up now. Every closed door in the name that is above all names, I open it right now. Every door of failure and disappointment in the mighty name of Jesus, let that door be open now. I pray right now. Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Eh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Eh? You want to be free from it? Huh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Huh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing? And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? He doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness. Your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they, are trying to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Hmm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rahila. Who is Rahila? Do you know anybody called Rahila? What is it mean? Well, I'm hearing the name Rahila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my dear? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going? Hold, hold on. Don't tell me. I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me. Don't worry. That's your sister, dear. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you, but the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. Be loose right now. 
Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you forth. Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay. Well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. Yeah. I command favor. Yeah. Favor. Yeah. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Yeah. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Yeah. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case but you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus I pray for you may the Lord visit you at that point of your need every habit here that is not of God masturbation pornography all of these devilish things that are destroying people I cast it out of your life forever I cast it out of your life forever it will not return again I cast it out I cast it out of your life. Every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension God wants to take you, I release grace upon you to walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, in your ministries. Let devils be casted out. Let the sick be healed. Let sinners be saved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of you planning for marriage, I command whatever resource you need, I release it for you. Amen. Even if the man has not come, I bring him into your life. Amen. Even if the woman has not come, I bring her into your life. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, inside and outside. This is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the Lord. Please stand up. Everybody keep standing, please. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You have seen the miracles and all of these things. But there are many of us that need to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And right now, as we begin to clap, I'll count one to five. Praise God. Inside and outside, please give them space. Inside and outside, I want you to come before the Lord here. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you made a decision for Jesus once. You made a decision for Jesus once, but you found yourself derailing. Please come out and stand here in the name of Jesus. Please, leave your seat and come out. Appreciate them. They are coming. God bless you. Please rush, rush, run, run, run. Don't be afraid. 
God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed inside and outside. God bless you as you come. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Outside, make sure you don't stay back. Don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing. Keep coming. Keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, when I do this, Selena and my sister and their roommates, please you come and stand. I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. All of you. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, those of you in front. Thank you so much for coming. See after me, Lord Jesus. I love you. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. I'm saved. Jesus is Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan from today. The Holy Spirit lives in me. I have eternal life and the gift of righteousness and I will reign in this life. And I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I'll never be the same again. My life is transformed. Amen. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.